everyone how you're doing. This is my review of The Strays, directed by Nathaniel Martello White, who's also worked on 2020's Small Axe Mangrove. This film having a top cast in of Ashley Medeque, Buki Bakray, Jordan Myrie, Justin Salinger, and Samuel Paul Small. Neve and her loving family believe that they have the perfect quiet life, but when she starts to notice that strange man and woman keep popping up at odd times, she starts to doubt her sanity. So she turns to her family for reassurance, but after they find out her past, there's no one to turn to. First of all, I've got to say that this film is a complete mess. And if I'm being brutally honest, it was a massive waste of my time. There is a lot of crap on Netflix, and I mean a lot. But this just adds to the pile. This film and the storyline was really stretched out. And the way it was filmed felt more of an episode of a soap opera. This film is an all-round poor attempt. Um, the script, the acting, the execution was really draining to watch. At the beginning of the film, we have to deal with a massive time jump, and if anything, it's annoying. From that point forward, we see a really poor attempt of Neve trying to put on this fake persona. This is where we see that the family find out that these two strangers are actually Neve's children from her past relationship that we saw at the beginning of the film. The two strangers angered by her mother's choices of starting a completely new life without them um, leads them to break into their house later that night. While we see the rest of the family trusting these strangers way too easily and we can see that these strangers are worming their way into their lives um, leading to the end of the film. Once they have broken into the house they decide to order everybody food for a family meal. Um, at this point moving forward this is where the oldest son decides to torment the family. Soon we see the oldest son Carl lead Ian the dad into the gym and offs him with some weights. While at the same time the delivery guy turns up at the front door and the mother Neve takes the opportunity and flees her life once again. And that is literally all we're left with. To sum up her actions there's only one thing that needs to be said. She belongs to the streets! Unfortunately, this is the type of film that will make you want to pick up your phone and scroll Facebook or TikTok while the film just plays in the background. But that's just my thoughts and feelings about the film. If you have seen it, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. And everyone, thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. So until next time, take care.